Alright, it's November 26th, about noon in the afternoon, and uh, I'm going to do initial startup, turn the wheels locked, lock both sides, and uh, go ahead and show you that everything's working as it should be, done that problem like we did last time. Alright Brian, uh, I'm going to try to show you return to center characteristics and just a little bit of turning and uh, see what happens with the box and steering wheel and everything. As you can see, my wheel center is about 11 o'clock or so, so it's not exactly true. Um, so bear that in mind when you're watching this video when I say it's going to return to center. It's going to turn to this position right about here. Alright, just going to go ahead and pull forward a little bit. I'm in a parking lot, by the way. I'm going to be cruising about eight, six, seven, eight miles an hour. Let go of the wheel and turn to center. This is one of the hardest times for the steering gearbox to be able to turn back to center. We're at low RPMs, about 800 or so RPMs right now. Not a lot of pressure is built up. Of course, this is going to get easier the faster you're going to return to center. Make a little loop and then come back around. Right again. So the hand is off. Return back to center. Do the same thing. We're going to go to the left now. Go to the other side of the parking lot. All right. See we're at wheel straight. Relative to the tires, going to make a left turn. 10 miles an hour, 1700 RPMs, let off, wheel returns right back to center. Alright Brian, what I'm going to try to do now is show you a little bit of just driving characteristics. Now I do have a bit of a tow-in problem, so if my truck does want to pull to the right, I need to get a little bit of an alignment done. But for your sake, I'm just going to show you hand off the wheel, track it true. mind that my center of the steering wheel is not the center of the tires. Hand off, track and true except for a little bit of pull due to tow in and that pulls off to the right. Go ahead and make a left turn here. Let's see it's going to come back to center. Hand was off right there. Keep in mind my position right now is center relative to the tires. About 38 miles an hour, about 1600 RPMs. See the hands off. We're going around a slight corner, so the tow wind's not a problem right now. So you can get a shot of the road. Let off. Try to keep my hand where you can see the steering wheel moving. on the right, so I'm going to straddle the road. See the pull due to the tires. It's not a jerking sensation from the wheel like we were having before. I don't have to have constant pressure. Hands off. 
come back to the right through the bank. This is a real pretty steep bank grade on the road. And because of the tires. Turn around here and get back with you. Alright, but I'm gonna try to show you at a little bit slower speed. Wheels at center, see if you can. So it doesn't matter doing the uh, Pass real quick. 2200 RPMs, hands off the wheel. Increase in line pressure does not increase any type of subtle characteristic that you might find. Going around that same bank. For the right is because of the tires. Sorry about that glare, I'm having a hard time trying to keep everything in focus. My camera doesn't have a very good uh, first, per excuse me, first person perspective, it's uh, back by the side of my ear, so you can try to see what I'm seeing. Alright, we got a right turn here. Beautiful time of year around here. Right turn with this Jeep out of the way. We gotta turn the center right here. Track in the right, just because the tires. And we're gonna make one left turn and then that'll pretty much be it. Turn center. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's a pretty steep bank right here. One more left turn, then we're back home. And return to center yet again. I don't know if you ever see on those return to centers this past two I just did. Um, my hand was towards more of like a seven o'clock position, but I simply just let off and let it cruise itself back over, back to the center position relative to the tires. And uh, I'll get out and show you the fittings and everything, make sure nothing's leaking. Give me just a second. All right, Brian, just trying to go ahead and show you. These right here aren't leaking, it's kind of hard to see the other ones hitting on the oil cooler line. Just look to see. There's that second fitting. Hopefully you can tell no leaks coming from there either. No leaks coming from the safety shop area. Uh, no leaks coming from the input assembly bearing. Up front either where you had that leak last time. I swapped out those assemblies for you. Alright, Brahma, that's pretty much it. Uh, really, really, really can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you sticking with me. I know if the uh, situation was reversed, I probably wouldn't be able to say I would do the same. really means a lot to me. Um, hopefully now you know that I stick behind what I sell and that I'm going to try to do everything to make sure everything is right for you. I don't suspect you're going to have any problems with the box. Uh, the only thing that could be different is maybe some pressure inside the lines that you know run into the RAM, but that's about it. Um, should have all the same characteristics that I'm having here, all of which are stock or better. So, uh, once again, I really appreciate you sticking with me, and uh, hope everything works out for you in Colorado. Just don't hesitate to call if something happens. All right.